Today we're going to talk about super wild topic about role of cholesterol crystals in cancer. We're going to look at some wild, wild photographs of cancer cells. So cholesterol crystals, they do form naturally in our body. They're very dangerous. This is very new scientific information. This is emerging theory of how cholesterol crystals could be contributing to cancer development. I did a video on that about the, how they form and their dangerous role in atherosclerotic plaques. So those are those fatty plaques that can narrow down your blood vessels, which is obviously not good to you. But we also are hearing lots about these cancers. And then my question is, could this be potentially another, another theory of why are we seeing these cancers so prevalently after mRNA vaccinations all over the world? And could it be because we are inadvertently introducing enough of cholesterol to contribute to the buildup and development of cholesterol crystals? So then I wanted to find out, well, do our cholesterol crystals seen in cancers? And lo and behold, very recently, this was finally demonstrated for the first time that indeed cholesterol crystals do form. So the paper that um, I will review right now for you is from, I believe it was 2023. Anyway, my name is Dr. Mikhail Rashik of Mirror Genomics, and let's get going with this. So we're just simply going to jump right in. The, the authors of this paper, they, I believe they, they analyzed something like 70-some cancer patient samples, 11... Uh, 11 type of diff types of different cancers and they basically looked at it under electron microscope so basically this allows you to see molecular world on the closest level possible that we can at the moment so on a really really slow scale where you can where you can see cellular features and so on so this uh, this technique really allowed the authors to see cholesterol crystals as well, whether there is cholesterol crystals or not. And in the very first, and basically the answer is, they saw cholesterol crystals in all of these. In all of these cancer samples that they analyze of all different cancer, cancer types, the only difference is that some cancers were, were presenting more cholesterol crystals than others. So the very first image they presented, and they also studied atherosclerotic plaques, because of course we do know very well that advanced atherosclerotic, atherosclerotic plaques or lesions, they always have cholesterol crystals, so that, that's, that we know of. So they also studied that as a control to compare um, with the cancer samples. And the very first image they presented, they presented a variety of different cancers, and they have normal light microscopy images of the actual cancer tissues to show um, based on, let's say, pathological examination that these are indeed cancers. And they showed then electron micro, microscope micrographs of the same cancers where you can zoom in really, really close. And lo and behold, all of them, all of these images show these spikes literally perforating the cell wall of these cancer cells. So meaning the cholesterol crystals are actually present inside these cancer cells and they grow so big, so large that they start literally protruding through the cell wall to the lipid bilayer check out the last video that on cholesterol cholesterol um, crystals to see what i mean by lipid bilayer lipid bilayer is basically the cell wall uh, that surround that makes up cells of all of your cells it's a very skinny layer of fat basically if you will and it just pokes right through so it literally looks like these alien cells because they all are spiked with cholesterols, these, these towers of cholesterols. So, and in the very last image, you can see uh, atherosclerotic plaque and, and as a control, and you can see again, crystals poking right through the atherosclerotic plaque. This is in fact how those plaques can be ruptured and that's also dangerous. So there is this commonality between cancer cells and uh, atherosclerotic plaques because of this cr uh, cholesterol crystals. Next image, images were my favorite part of this paper. Next image they showed were, was colon cancer. And this is really cool because they showed in image A and C, they show the actual cancer cells. Again, you see these wild spikes just literally 
the cells are normal. They're, they look like hedgehog, right? So they, you see these crystals poking out through the cancer cells and they compared it to the margins around the cancer cells and you can see that they had basically almost no crystals. You didn't see these crystals. There was a little few white specks here and there, but nothing like the actual cancer cells. So clearly evident that cancer cells are very different in their morphology than, than what would be expected from normal tissue. So there, and underneath these images, they also showed uh, more photographs using digital microscopy, so different technique. And once again, you see these cholesterol crystals um, and the refracting light and they're poking through the cells again very very interesting one more image that they showed of cancer of cancer cells uh, was uh, they uh, they did breast cancer cells as well and uh, the same same thing so they they actually have a light microscopy image to show that uh, if you examine a patho through like do pathological examination that this is indeed breast cancer, then they showed once again the cancer cells and you see those cholesterol crystals poking right through. And then uh, again, they showed the margin. So in the area beyond cancer cells or away from cancer cells, you can see that uh, there is no crystals or very minimal uh, amount of crystals uh, than, than what was observed. Uh, in cancer cells. So very, very evident that cancer cells actually build cholesterol crystals just like atherosclerotic plaque. So there's that commonality. And uh, there, they did one more image that I also thought was really cool. Might as well show it to you as well. And in that image, then they, they looked at the actual atherosclerotic plaque as well. And first one is uh, you see like a staining image, you see cholesterol crystals and uh, how they are rupturing cells. They are also rupturing blood vessels that, were, that would be surrounding atherosclerotic plaque. So this is uh, um, something that uh, they talked about. This might also be happening with cancers if there are blood vessels near cancers and the cholesterol crystals are rupturing cancer cells, they could also be rupturing blood vessels in a very similar, similar manner as what is seen with atherosclerosis, atherosclerotic plaques, and this is perhaps how cholesterol crystals could be contributing to metastasis because if you rupture blood vessels this allows now the cancers right next to cancer cells this allowed cancer cells to enter the bloodstream and uh, of course you could be seeding cancer somewhere else in the body so interesting theory that they propose right right there uh, then you have uh, next to that atherosclerotic pi pic uh, picture that was all colored. Then they have this, again, electron microscopy image. Very cool. You see atherosclerotic sclerotic plaque where you have cholesterol crystals once again just poking right through, right through the plaque and jutting out into the bloodstream. What's very cool in that image, this is actual atherosclerotic plaque in the blood vessel. And you can see that tiny little red blood cells. You can see those tiny little circles tiny, tiny in comparison to the actual cholesterol crystals. It gives you a sense of how giant they can be. And you can see these red blood cells just floating around. Very cool image. Image right below, um, figure C, it shows you immunofluorescence microscopy image. So in, in, in that image, basically, they use antibodies that were recognizing, that were fluorescing and recognizing cholesterol plaques. And again, you can see, sorry, cholesterol crystals. There, these antibodies were recognizing cholesterol crystals, and you can see in atherosclerotic plaque, these antibodies were showing all these green little spots, spots, basically that everywhere you would see green color, that's where the cholesterol crystals are poking out. So you can see they're everywhere right there. Uh, and uh, um, the one more, there's uh, some more, uh, some more, um, electron micrographs as well and uh, there is one that um, is uh, extreme close-up you can see like a tower poking out <laughs> so that's like if you zoom in super close with electron microscopy and then there's one as well where they uh, they zoomed out and they and where the authors zoomed out and they show on a larger scale these 
crystals are everywhere, poking through everywhere. So very similar to, to cancer cells. So those are the images. What else they also did in that uh, scientific paper really quick or very briefly, they also looked at the levels of cholesterol, free cholesterol. So this is nothing to do with crystals now, but just free cholesterol. And again, cancer tissue had more cholesterol in and in around than uh, say healthy cells. And of course, cholesterol, you need cholesterol to build cholesterol crystals. So, so that, that makes sense. And what was also interesting, they also looked at certain molecular markers and the molecular markers that they were observing in these cancer tissues with cholesterol crystals were the ones that you would expect to see when cancer is metastasizing. So that's, this is one of the reasons why they, the authors thought cholesterol crystals could be really dangerous towards contributing towards cancer metastasis. So not something that is, that is good for you. So keep in mind though, cholesterol is very important for you. For you. you need it for building those cell walls, that lipid bilayer, it's very important for, for that. But the problem is if we have too much of it. Again, check out the previous video where I talk about how cholesterol crystals are actually formed. And, and uh, you, can, you can get a background background there. So those are the basics. The one, one more thing that they uh, also looked and analyzed, they did mention that some of these, some of the cancers that they looked at had a lot of macrophages around the, the cancer tissue and they were eating up these cholesterol crystals. So this is something very simple. Macrophages are immune cells that help you. Basically, they really make sure that everything is supposed to be working um, properly, but they can also, sometimes cancer cells can hijack your macrophages and it can work, work against you as well. So uh, check out one of my uh, recent videos on uh, new cancer development theory that was proposed recently and we discuss uh, microphages uh, their good versus bad role as well but they the point is, is that the authors were seeing these macrophages eating up cholesterol crystals as well something that they claim is also very similar to what is observed with with atherosclerosis those fatty plaques that can start narrowing your blood vessels and they can also rupture and they will rupture because of cholesterol crystals and that's how that's dangerous so now the question is, how dangerous are cholesterol crystals in cancer? Now, the background of this, they also review a little bit of information. They said, look, these cholesterol crystals in cancer cells were observed already more than 100 years ago. Their, its first description ever was in 1909, I think, somewhere around that start of 20th century. And ever since, there, it was uh, observed uh, in some uh, mice cancer tissues. And apart from that, that's it. It's never really analyzed. It's never really discussed. Literally, science or and or medicine completely is oblivious, oblivious to this to this concept and uh, the role, purpose, and danger of cholesterol crystals to the to the development of cancer is completely unknown. So these guys are some of the first people to really start investigating this in in uh, some some detail and. Um, and uh, also, basically what uh, they suggest that one of the ways that this could be an issue is that these cholesterol crystals, similarly to, say, atherosclerotic plaques, could be leading to inflammation, increased inflammation, which is something that perhaps cancer cells could be taking advantage of and uh, uh, for their own purposes as well. So that's basically the super brief quick summary of, of this really fascinating paper. And uh, basically, I wonder whether, whether that could be one of the reasons, one of many reasons that are now being attributed to mRNA vaccines potentially leading to cancer development. Now, these are all theories. There is no proof of this, but there's many theories now proposed how the mRNA vaccines could be leading to cancer development. We did video based on one of scientific uh, reviews that I participated in, for example, via the genetic sequence itself because of how the genetic sequence itself was modified. And uh, so that's one. And here I am proposing, well, 
what if the uh, what if the fact that we introduce all these extra cholesterol with mRNA vaccines could be inadvertently under certain circumstances leading to cholesterol crystal development again i don't really know beyond um, enough about this topic or cholesterol crystals uh, what is the saturation point that you need to achieve but we do know that there was a lot of this material because again there was enough of the lipid nanoparticles introduced in mRNA shots to enter every single cell in your body and that's literally trillions of cells so there's plenty of this stuff so and no one really looks at this information because look no one is even aware really how cholesterol crystals are even contributing to cancer so so something that um, a new a new conspiracy theory that is being born out of another conspiracy theory i suppose but something that is of interest to me and i think we should potentially scientifically investigate this uh, moving forward in the future in case that could have been a problem that we over didn't basically did not pay attention to all right that's it uh, for today very interesting concept and i look forward to seeing you guys next time and uh, bye for now everyone ciao